Let's put it inside. Good girl. I realized that I haven't actually said hello yet. So hey guys, um, I've just started Maria's breakfast. Um, I've just made some pancakes. Um, hello. <laughs> She's pretty much almost finished it. And the thing that I love about baby led weaning, which is what we did with, with like both kids, as you can hear, she's also sick. Um, we did baby led weaning with both kids and it just is such a lifesaver because it means that I can like give her the food and just walk away. I put the dishwasher on. I just tidied up everything behind me and I can kind of just get on with like things I need to do or even just I can eat with the kids as well um, which is so nice so yeah I didn't do any blended food with Maria no packets of food no tins of food like none of those I went straight to whatever we eat um, I, I think it was six months seven months um, went straight to whatever we eat but just obviously broken down um, a bit more like cut up and uh, also kind of cooked slightly differently to take out the salt Okay, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and I feel like it's just been like such a chaotic morning already and I think this is just like the, the, I don't think I've vlogged since I had Maria, not sure, but being a mum of two is definitely tough. love the fact that they're really close in age, like they just keep themselves, each other, like they keep each other busy, um, which I love, like for most of the time it's quite easy um, because they kind of keep each other busy but also when they both need you at the same time and that's when it's really really challenging the kids have been waking up around 5 30 to 6 o'clock even 5 15 actually the other day um, so it's really difficult because like from 5 15 you're just trying to entertain them from 5 15 in the morning I feel like there's just been a lot of like motherhood challenges recently especially like to do with work and just that balance and I left work um, I left my nine to five a few months ago um, during my maternity leave and I'll tell you, you know what, let me talk more about it later because I feel like um, I need to sit down properly and talk to you guys when Maria is asleep because she, <laughs> she'll definitely disturb me because I either know women that have gone back to work and you know that's kind of their trajectory and that's they're all good with that and you know, that's that's theirs or I know women that don't work so they just they just they're, they're mothers and that's fine um, but I've really struggled to find that in between person that person that's like want like left work to run their own business or to have their own to do their own thing all my friends that they're, they're in different situations to me um, and so trying to find someone who's in the same situation with me like as me has been really difficult as someone who um, has a business and works from home but also is flexible enough that I can like leave work and take them out whenever I want but they're also in nursery right now so it's just so difficult to like find that balance and find people that I can really relate to. I feel like that's kind of where my struggles have been um, recently. But yeah, let me know if you guys are in the same situation. Like, let me know if someone's in the same situation as me. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. Alright, so while Marie's asleep, I wanted to show you guys what I pack 
for going out with her and if you know me you'll know that i'm someone who tries to be as efficient as possible i try to make sure that i only take things that are absolutely necessary like i don't want to take things that are going to just clutter my posture so i have really honed it down to this this bag of stuff okay so to start off with i always have spare clothes just in case like she vomits gets wet so like today i think the low was five degrees so i've taken this like cute little hat that i, <laughs> I think so cute so here, i've taken her um pack for her changing mat which has like everything in here that i need to change her um and i'm probably going to change her once for like when we go out but we'll see we'll see how it goes and then i also have her active fit nappy pants by pampers and i usually just take if i'm going out for I mean, I'm probably going to be out for like three hours, I would say. So one is actually enough, but I always take spares just in case. Like there's always a chance that someone next to you, like someone nearby needs uh, a spare. So these are actually the um, active fit nappy pads. And I think I showed it to you guys earlier when I was um, changing Maria. Um, so it's really cool. It has this like system where you just stick your hands. <laughs> you just stick your hands in like this and then you pull like you literally like this is literally the nappy pan right you stick your hands in like this and then you just grab the legs and you just pull the legs through the like holes and it's just so simple like it also has this like strip at the back so when you finish using it you can like wrap it up like that and just like clip it and it's so perfect because if you're out on the back you know that it's like secure and it's safe so that's definitely something that i love these for so she's now size four and these actually go from size four to size seven maria turned one around three weeks ago now I think it is. Ever since she turned one we got her a new pair of shoes and she's literally just been running around so active. Ever since she started running around and get becoming more active I noticed that she was getting more nappy rashes and I genuinely just put it down to myself. I thought that oh maybe I'm not changing her often enough and I realised actually the more active that babies get they're more likely to get nappy rash because of how much friction there is from their nappy and that rubbing of the material of the baby's skin can cause redness and soreness. I was like ah. Oh, that that's a good point like that makes sense and actually over 70 percent of parents don't think that um, a child getting older and running around and become more active will lead to more nappy rashes and it does they need to make sure that they've got something that's going to keep them dry and protect them from that wetness and that sort of dampness um all day the more they develop the more they change and the more that they progress and the more active they get so as soon as she changed from size three to size four i grabbed these i've got another pack here i know that i emptied one pack earlier but i have got another pack I always keep a spare just in case. So these are the Pampers um, Active Fit Nappy Pad. It's, it's so funny because in my office, we moved all the stuff over like a couple of weeks ago. And in the office, we have like the massive Pampers box that we got like months and months ago, probably like, I don't know how many months ago, maybe six months ago. We got a massive pack of um, nappies when Maria was like size one, two and three. Um, and then we had the, the big box of that and it's in my office at the moment. <laughs> and every time I have a meeting, like everyone can see it in the back of my meeting and I keep thinking like move the Pampers box because we just put like our stuff inside. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys actually, it has this really cool pocket, the stop and protect pocket. It's got this like extra kind of fold um, here. So you can see it's got this extra fold which the front doesn't have and the back has it. And that actually stops leakages um, up to 12 hours. And what I found is it's always like this bit over here, which is where the leak kind of just escapes. Like it's never all the way down to the back. It's always like slightly above this part. So um, having this extra pocket is really, really good. Um, so these are actually Pampers number one for comfort and fit. And they're really soft and they're dermatologically tested as well. So you know that they are safe for your baby in all ways. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna pack four of these. Like I said, I'm probably gonna only use one if that it keeps your baby dry and protected for up to 12 hours so i i actually don't i probably won't need it but i'm going to take it anyway obviously just in case um but yeah that's like one of the, the things that i always always pack um in in our bag when we go out anyway and also pampers are sponsoring this segment of the video which like is a dream collaboration for me it's literally been using pampers nappies from the minute my kids were born but if you guys um are mums parents and you want to try out these nappy pants then do click the link in my description and um, where there is a free trial so you can just sign up um, and you can get yourself a pack of nappy pants and to try them out and trust me once you try them like once i got the sofian one when he turned size four um i, I never went back like i said i went to size four and then i went to size five and then i potty trained if you do want to try these out for free then the link is in my description also i take a cover um for feeding so it's like an apron like a little apron thing i take that for her because it means that i can like if she 
needs to be fed she's on cow's milk now so i also take like some milk for her as well but if she needs to be fed then it just makes it really easy that i can just like whip out so what i usually do is i either fill it up and then i'll warm it up for like a minute and a half so like normally i warm up for only half a minute so i'll do like three times hotter so by the time i go out and like spend some time out it will cool down to the temperature that i want it to be at so i'll do that or i'll put some milk in a flask um, and heat it up and in the flask so it stays warm for as long as I need it but I usually just do that like do it a bit hotter and um, so uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do and then what else I have oh then I have some uh, yogurt <laughs> and then some snacks usually some fruits go in here and then I have like a little crisp packet for again this is more for like nibbling when she's on the bus or something like that and then I have things to distract her so I have distractiony things these are um, a few things that I like to take out with me when I go out with her because she is a little bit, she can get a little bit um, fussy on the push chair. Not in general, but only if we're like in a queue somewhere or if we're held up somewhere or like if it's a long journey and there's delays, um, she can get fussy, fairly, you know, rightly so. So I like to make sure that I've got something that can keep her distracted and keep her busy and like, I can play with her. I usually just like sing, um, but there's only so many songs I can sing in public. So. What I like to do is I push, I'll push them all in, and I give it to her, and she kind of goes and pops each one one by one, and that keeps her busy for a few minutes, and then I do it again. <laughs> and then I also like to take a book with me because she um, really likes, she really likes holding books and like flicking through them. I think she's probably like learned that from her brother. So I take something like this, which has these flaps, and it's like you know material flaps, and yeah, she can kind of just like play around with them, and I can be like, oh, are they behind the green hedge? Oh no! And yeah, entertain the whole carriage <laughs> the whole carriage and the whole bus <laughs> whilst i sing along with this but yeah so i'm just gonna wait for her to wake up really um what time is it now 12 o'clock okay she's been asleep for a while i think she went to sleep at like 10 um i've had breakfast i just had breakfast um breakfast is always like the last thing that i do i, I feed the kids i do all those things and then i deal with myself like mum life um so yeah i'm just gonna maybe get myself ready so then at least when she wakes up i just have to get her ready I'm out the door rather than thinking about myself as well so that's what i'm going to do right now I'll show you guys what i'm wearing today really quickly so i'm wearing this thin wool turtleneck from cos and then i've got a vest underneath just to keep me extra warm and then i don't know if you can see but i've got um these trousers from and other stories i just i feel like it's going to keep me nice and warm but also it's not that cold today so it should be all right and then i'm just gonna put this wool blazer on top and this wool blazer is from um, Arquettes and this will be the extra layer that I need just without coverage and I'm good to go I can either like leave the I quite like having these like, extra long sleeves coming out I can either leave it like this or you can obviously just fold them up as well if you want um, and that's another way to do it let's take this and turn it into something beautiful and we're done so i'm gonna put like i'm probably gonna try and put something like a little clip i've got green ones as well actually that will suit maybe something like that maybe in her hair like that but i'm gonna do them last minute because she loves to pull them out but yeah i typically use this for her hair give it to me thank you thank you but yeah so i've just done like a little back parting so that can stay flat and then two little Hi. like pigtails here right at the front so cute in the lift, we're just on our way to Stratford. Let's go! All right, just on our way to get the train to go to Stratford. Um, I don't actually know how I'm gonna get there because usually when I get there, there's like a direct line, but I'm not sure if there's one today. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go. It should be about 20 minute journey, I think, so not too bad. One thing I realised about um, public transport in the UK is that it really, especially London anyway, is that it really is not accessible. But there are some stations where you can get lifts and stuff. And I just checked the TFL website to check, like, to let me know. Like, I'm currently at West Ham Station and they've got lifts to all the platforms. So I use it as like a base if I'm going like east or west. Um, so yeah, always check online before you leave the house, especially if you have a posture. 
So we finally made it to the Children's Story Centre in Stratford and I've been here before. I actually came here about a year ago when I was like nine months pregnant with Maria and I absolutely loved it and I've been wanting to come again since. And now that she's running and walking and really active, I decided to make a little afternoon of it. And uh, yeah, she had fun. Definitely want to come back um, and bring Sufyan. We then went to the Olympic Park in Stratford and also Westfield and just had a little walk around for around 30 minutes just to kill some time. And I went to m and I wanted to check out the fit of a few cashmere jumpers that I was looking at online. Um, then popped into m and to get a few groceries and I came across this really cute alphabet pasta <laughs> that I did buy, by the way, for Sufyan because, you know, mum life. It is, okay, it's 5.27, so 5, yeah, 5.30. I just didn't expect to be out for this long. Like, I feel like everything today just didn't go to plan. Like, nothing's gone to plan. Um, Maria has been, has been really sick all day. Both the kids are just getting sick, like, back to back. And plus, because they're in nursery as well, it's like, you just can't protect them from getting sick. Before Sufyan was in nursery, the first time he got sick was when he was, like, a year and a half. Um, and yeah, he just didn't get sick at all. Whereas now, because they're in nursery, it's like back to back sickness after sickness after sickness. And I'm just, it's just like getting to me. Like they're just always sick, literally all the time. Um, yeah, luckily they haven't actually missed any nurseries so far because it's managed to kind of, they've managed to, <laughs> they've managed to be sick over the weekend or not sick enough to miss nursery. I think like our nursery, they say, if they have a temperature or like a fever then they won't take them off or if they're not eating or vomiting whatever then obviously they won't take them but otherwise they'll take them so they've had like a runny nose really stuffy really clogged up but it's still okay for the nursery so that at least that's one good thing but there you go you can hear you can hear her like she's just, just coughing all the time sick all the time and i feel like i had booked this day out for a while now so i didn't want to cancel it um, and I took her out of nursery today as well, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go through with it. But she was sick so the whole time. I was like, when, like just cleaning her nose for the Jubilee line, and there was some sort of issue. It was saying like 25 minutes, and I was like, Are you kidding me? Um, and it was so windy, and I was just like, Today is not going to plan. And then Mohammed, Mohammed's so sweet. He, he said he messaged me. I was, I was the whole time I was messaging him like, Oh my god, the Jubilee line now. Oh my god, this. Oh my god. <laughs> and then he messaged me, and he was like, I've made your favorite for dinner. And I was like, Oh. Look at how she's sitting. She's like cross-legged. Ah, ah, ah. She's so cute. Ah, ah. Oh, she's gonna eat dinner. Mohammed went to pick up Sufyan, so he's gonna come home now, and we're gonna get into the swing of things. So between now, so five thirty to seven o'clock, it's just like dinner time, bath time, possibly not for Maria, but for Sufyan because we went to nursery today. Bath time. Um, changing their clothes, um, what else is there? Like just reading them some books, playing time, like just chatting, whatever, having a good time. Um, and then bedtime, so they sleep at uh, seven o'clock between, yeah, seven o'clock is usually when they are um, in bed. So sometimes even earlier, the other day, I think it was like 6.50 or something, so it's really early. I actually um, ended up not changing Maria's nappy pants between one o'clock and now, so five o'clock, so for four hours. Um, usually I would try to find somewhere to like change her um, but I checked her pants and she was dry like it was fine um, so I just left it and, and that's why I love the active fit nappy pants by Pampers because honestly like throughout the day like I said for 12 up to 12 hours she will be dry and it's really really helped like no matter how much she runs around no matter what she does no matter what she gets up to um, she stays dry throughout the day which is amazing so I really don't have to change it as often as I need to show you guys how easy it is to take off as well so on the side here so on the side here there's like a seam and you can like that like so so simple and do that on both sides essentially that's how I take it off let's get your legs in Let's get your legs in, Maria. Tick, 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 tick. Grab one, grab two, and get those legs in. Yay! Easy. Well done. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Close the door. Close the door. Uh, they sent me a monkey. They sent me a monkey. Ooh, ooh. Naughty! Yeah. Naughty, my little thing. Yeah. It's a little puppy. Yeah, it's a little puppy. Yeah. It's 8. I think it's 8 something. 8.30 right now. 
Um, so yeah, both the kids are sleeping. But yeah, I'm just so knackered and I'm just like ready to absolutely knock out. It's nice though because I feel like once I go to sleep at like 7.30 to 8 o'clock, we've got the whole evening to ourselves. So we're usually in bed by 9.30. So I, you know, we have a good two hours. We eat dinner with them. So it's literally just like two hours of just chilling, catching up. I'd much rather they sleep earlier than wake up later because when you wake up in the morning like you just like go 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 whereas in the evening we can actually like take some time to ourselves and like chill out and also um i also kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um the struggles that i i was mentioned i mentioned earlier about like motherhood and working and like that balance and it hit me today as well because i feel like I had so many things that I wanted to do to like organize like their spaces. Like I did Maria's wardrobe a couple like two weeks ago. I want to do Sofiane's wardrobe and then there's like other parts of the house. And it's just like, there's just so many things. Like I feel like, I remember, I think it was a TikTok that I saw where they said, um, where they were saying something like women have like an internal dialogue, monologue or whatever dialogue that doesn't stop. Like it never ever ends. It just keeps on going. Like I need to do this, and I need to do that, and after that I'm going to do that, and don't forget that, and we're going to do that. And like that's literally what happens all day in your mind. And I genuinely feel like there was a point a couple of weeks ago where I definitely felt like I crashed. We can never win, you know. On one side, there's the conversation of you know if you're not if you're not staying at home with your, your kids, you don't care for them, you're not raising them yourself, blah blah. You're not a good mom. And then the flip side is like if you do go to work, then and then flip side is like, oh, if you do stay at home, you're lazy and you're, you're, you're not ambitious, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm, I don't feel like I fit into either of those boxes. Like I, I'm ambitious, but I'm not more ambitious than I am mothering, if that makes sense. Like if tomorrow I had to quit everything that I do just to look after, like to look after my kids, I would 100% quit because for me, the priority is being a mother. But at the same time, like my mental sanity and like my, my... <laughs> I don't know my the balance within me has to has to make sense and I feel like for a very long time it just hasn't made sense because of I think firstly back, having back to back kids hasn't helped in that situation because you know there hasn't been time to like reset and like recalibrate um, my lifestyle and my body and things like that and I've accepted that this is the balance that I'm going to go for like I'm going to go for the balance where I'm in their lives and I'm very very much present for for them when they're at home when they're with me but then at the same time like I'm working on things that make me happy and that like nourish my soul um, and that remind me of who I am this is a discussion that can definitely <laughs> go on and on and on I know there's so many sides to it as well and I'd love to hear your thoughts and it's just something that I feel like I think about all the time let me know how you manage your situation like are you someone who um, has decided to go on one side or the other um, yeah, I'd love to know. I'd love to know your thoughts because I'm definitely in a place where I'm still like Sophia's only two years old. Like I'm still only have only been a mother for two years. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Pampers again for sponsoring um, a segment of this video. But yeah, don't forget to click in the link in my bio if you want to try them yourself. I always, whenever I vlog, I'm always like, this what? like this is not interesting. But let me know if you if you find it interesting and you want to see more of what we get up to. I always take Maria out by herself to different places around London and um, just like get out there a little bit and you know get around and explore a little bit. So if you want to see more of what we get up to, maybe I can do these a bit more regularly. I wouldn't mind. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.